Welcome to World Action and Reaction News, before starting today's news, my request to all dear friends please press like button if this information is useful for you and also hit the subscribe button along with bell icon for future news updates, let's start today's news. With the Congress keeping up the heat on the government over the Rafale fighter jet deal with France, alleging that it smacks of corruption, Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikar, who was Defense Minister when the deal was inked in September 2016, on Saturday justified the cost and said that the aircraft is probably smaller part of the total cost. And that the real cost comes in special equipment. Parikar also criticized the logjam created in the Rafale deal under A.K. Antony, Defense Minister in the UPA government, and called the Defense Ministry the backroom of foreign diplomacy that does the actual exercise which needs to be done. Speaking at the launch of the book Securing India the Modi Way by Nitin Gokhale, Parikar identified surgical strikes as exercises which increase the country's sphere of influence. During the campaign phase of the Gujarat Assembly elections, the Congress and Rahul Gandhi has questioned Prime Minister Narendra Modi on multiple occasions on the pricing front and sought details of the Rafale deal to be made public. Explaining the price quotient, Parikar said, a fighter aircraft is not only an aircraft. The aircraft is probably smaller part of the total cost the real cost comes in special equipment. How many of you know that this particular deal includes a helmet to be worn by the pilot where a target gets locked by just watching the target. It is virtually 360 degree visibility. The pilot doesn't have to actually check up. He has to just watch and press the button. The computer does the rest, he said, our rifles will come with this equipment. That cost of development of helmet is included in the deal. Dot. Stating that Indian Air Force was much superior to Pakistan's during the 1999 Kargil War, Parikar said, between 1999 and 2014, until Narendra Modi came, Pakistan, through various purchases, had acquired a capacity of 100 km range, whereas we had upgraded our BVR, beyond visual range missile, only 60 km on Su-30. So we were now in danger of being shot down by Pakistani fighters from 100 kilometers away, and not being able to retaliate. That is also part of the, rifle, purchase. Stating that part of the deal is cervicability at 80%, he said, I am explaining this only to make you understand that an aircraft may cost 92 million euros. But other components will cost you 150 million euros because you have to make it fighting fit. Unluckily, in India we deal with aircraft purchases, or fighter purchases, like we think of TUR Dal and Mung Dal. About the deal under the UPA, Parikar said, when the Prime Minister was signing the Rafal deal, one day prior to that we had an extensive meeting with the Air Force. We worked out the solution on how to come out of the logjam created by Saint Antony, former Defence Minister Antony, who was called Saint. He had a very strange noting on the file. He said, start discussion, finalize price and after everything is finished, please come back to me with all documentary evidence how Das Alt, or the Rafal company, was the lowest. Parikar pointed out that the Central Vigilance Commission guidelines say the government cannot negotiate with anyone other than the lowest. If you have identified him, any company, as the lowest, you can negotiate. But how do you negotiate with someone and then prove that he was lowest? So, for two and a half years, the file was going around in circles, under UPA. We broke the circle by deciding that we have to take a different approach. On surgical strikes, Parikar said such strikes are all about hard power. He said, I was part of the team that did that consecutively on eastern and western border, successfully without any damage to our side. So India, probably for the first time, started getting ratings of 95 and 100 per center on hard power. On the strike along the LOC, he said he must have had 18 or 19 meetings between the terror strike at URI and the actual strike. The meetings included several top army officers and defense ministry officials right above joint secretary level. But, 
he said, nothing leaked out, including flying out some of the officers to some foreign capitals to make arrangements. We had to send officers with authority to carry out on-spot purchase.